Hello and welcome to Setio's Reviews. <laughs> right, uh, this time I have small mystery box in here. Well, actually I know what it is, but um, it's cool to say it's a mystery box. God damn it, ruined the surprise. I should have, shouldn't have said anything. So, well, very simple box, but um, the device, it's not that simple. Whoops, <laughs> alright, I did that on purpose. So this is a USB free hub and also a card reader. Really nice design. Ooh, it really is nice. This is this is like a rubbery surface, so it's a anti-slip or whatever you call it. Uh, it really is anti-slip. Yeah, that's pretty good. So uh, this is a SD card. That's the mini SD card. What, what the hell is this then? That that's. I think that's the, 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 the don't remember what it is, but um, here you ha have a look. <laughs> I really like this this thing. It's like a button. Actually, it should be a button. That's actually a good idea. So maybe for future products, I really like this. It should be a button, like you press it, click on, click off. But it's three ports and cards, so actually it's six ports in total. USB free, blue as usual. USB free should be blue. And this, I, I don't know, I really like the design of this device. It's very well made. However, one thing I would change is instead of the cable putting in here, I would put it from here. That's that's just my opinion. That's what I would do. Because if you put it on the table, obviously you want, want it to face you. So it's like, I don't know, from the side. And some people might just twist it, don't do that. If you twist the cable from here then at some point it will break. It's not the, it's not the fault of this, this device, it's just it happens to all the devices if you twist the cable from there, but anyway. So, a few words about the USB uh, hub, as I always say that. Uh, let's plug it in actually, let's see if it has any lights. I actually have uh, this thing in here, this is a USB 2, but it... Stop, I just flipped it. Okay, you can't see what I'm doing, but um, I don't think it has any lights. Yeah, it doesn't have any lights or nothing, so I uh, can't really see what it's doing. But um, and I forgot to say, this is by CatTech. This is the same same company as this one in here, CatTech. And let's plug. Why did it flip? Let's plug this in here. Wait, what? It goes upside down. There we go, it has power, it works. That's what I wanted to test, so. <coughs> what the hell? What is going on? <laughs> okay. Uh, what I wanted to say about the USB hub, if you like block devices in there, this is like a Bluetooth device. Uh, this is just to give production value, I don't know. And we have the Elcomsoft security key, security software. And I should have ta -da, an SD card. So let's plug this in here too. Which way does it go? This way, I think. Um, I think this way. So let's let's check it. Actually, hold on a second. Uh, yes, it does detect it. So uh, unplug it. Yeah, it does detect it on my PC, so everything works absolutely fine. Uh, as I always wanted to say, this actually light came on, as you saw, for a second. I don't know if you saw it. But as I always explain about USB hubs, it doesn't give you the bandwidth of uh, three or four or how many ports there are. The bandwidth still remains one. So, if you plug in like uh, two or three USB free devices then most likely you're gonna have issues with the devices because uh, it's not the limitation of the hub It's a limitation of a single port. So That's that's simply how USB works. So USB 2 has 10 times less bandwidth than USB 3 Which means if you plug in USB 2 devices into this one, then uh, you can plug all of them in it's it's no problem so but if you plug in USB 3 devices, then you should not use more than one at a time. USB hubs are just, you know, 
for easy of access, ease of access, so uh, you don't have to crawl behind your PC and like lock things in there. So, but all as far as I know, all of the computer mice and keyboards are USB 2. They just don't need more bandwidth than that. And also headsets should be USB 2. Devices like Leap Motion, uh, Toby IX uh, Eye Tracker, these kind of devices need a lot of bandwidth, and they are USB 3. So don't plug more than one USB free device in here. I mean you can plug them in but you can't use them at the same time. So that's that's the only limitation you have. But um, other than that it's an It doesn't want to let go. <laughs> it's like once you plug in you can't get it out anymore. <laughs> but uh, it's an awesome USB hub and a card reader by uh, CatTech. It's really nice design I have to say. I really like this. But other than that, I don't know. It's it's just an awesome device. So hope you like this. I sh I sure do. <laughs> and I will see ya next time.